College admissions is very simple. You first apply to college, you then get into college, and then next fall you just move out and you go to college. Unfortunately, the process isn't that simple. And given how competitive things are getting now, it's getting harder than ever to get into the college of your dreams. And the reason for that is because there's so many qualified students competing for the same number of spots, yet it's just hard. What do you do? What do you do to set yourself hard from the crowd? In this video, I'll talk about how many colleges should we apply to? Because ideally, you'd say, hey, let's just apply to every college out there. It's going to help my chances, right? I'm applying to 100 colleges. Let's not even think about the fees associated with that. But I'm applying to 100 colleges, so I should get into like 20 of them or 30 of them. I'll be in a good position to like go wherever I want to go. Unfortunately, when you try to apply to too many schools, you run the risk of stretching yourself thin and not producing quality applications. You need to produce the goods in each application. You want a solid essay, you want good quality material which shows that you belong there. You belong at that school and it's the right place for you to be. So if you apply to many, many schools, it's not going to work that way. It's just your quality of applications is going to struggle unless you started your sophomore year of high school writing college application essays because you just knew you wanted to apply to 100 schools. But for the vast majority of us, that's not the case. So let's focus in on a number that sounds good and puts you at a good range of difficult schools, easier schools, and middle tier schools, which are not as challenging but are still very good schools. So that number varies from person to person. If I was going through this process again today, and I'm very thankful I'm not, I'm happy to help everyone now because I'm able to look back on it and I see how difficult it was and almost I was unaware of how challenging things are. And so hopefully I can help someone out there with this message. I would be applying to about 15 schools today. Five schools in the reach category, five schools in the middle tier, and five schools which I'd say are easy to get into and I'd say are safeties because of the number of students they admit. So before I get into details of which school to apply to or anything like that in any subsequent video, let me quickly define those tiers of schools. So your reach schools are schools which are hard to get into for you. And that varies from person to person, but I'm gonna just do it for the general strong academic student who has mostly A's and A minuses and B pluses and has good test scores and is looking for the top tier school like your Harvard, Yale, Princeton's of the world. So when you're thinking of your top tier of schools, you're thinking of schools with low admissions rates, and I'm thinking of schools with admissions rates sub 10%. So that means that any given student has less than a 10% chance of getting in, which is a little scary to think about given how many great students are out there. You have a valedictorian in your high school, maybe you're that person, but there's valedictorians all across our country, so they're all competing for these same spots. So you have to realize that it's not just a competition among your friends. So don't ever concern yourself with what your friends are doing, whether your friends are like, smarter than you, worse than you, things like that, because there's always someone out there. There's hundreds of schools, hundreds, thousands of schools across the country and across the world, because you have to realize admissions is not just about the U.S. There are students from other countries who are applying to the same schools you're applying to. So then my middle tier schools are with admissions rates between 10 and 25 percent, and the safety schools are higher than that, 25 percent and above, and likely I'd say for safety schools, you want to pick schools that are quite high, especially for your state. So for example, I'm from the state of Connecticut, and we have UConn, which is a tremendous school, has a great program in engineering, great sports teams to support. So it's a, overall a great school, but I'm from Connecticut, so I have an advantage to get into UConn because of my geographic location. So UConn, while if I was an out-of-state applicant, might be more challenging, UConn being in-state for me is a little bit easier, so I can treat UConn like a safety school almost, and the admissions rate hopefully is high enough. And so you want to pick about five schools in each category, and you can adjust this if you, depending on how you do your admission structure, and that's something I'll talk about in subsequent videos about how you should apply to school, how you should use early admissions and regular admissions, early decision, first choice, things like that. I'll definitely address those topics because I think that can adjust these numbers, these numbers of 555. Five, five. Because if you can apply to school smartly, you can take more chances in regular missions and mitigate some of the risk by being smart in the early action cycle. So we'll talk about that later, but this is just a general rule of thumb. If you're just applying regular, you're not even considering the early cycle at all. 
So you're looking at five schools in each of these categories, and you want to make sure you pick the schools that are right for you. So if I'm looking at REACH schools under 10%, I'm trying to pick five schools that I think I would be happy at. That's what college comes down to. Yes, you want to go to the most prestigious school out there, but are you going to be happy there? You want to maximize your time there, and you want to make it worthwhile. You want it to be something you can talk about 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years down the road, that I love going to school X, Y, and Z. So you want to make it such that you pick schools that you can see yourself at and succeeding at. For example, I'm a strong math and science person. I love the liberal arts as well, but it's just not what I'm good at. I mean, it's something I just realize, and my test scores and academics show it. So I'm obviously more attracted by schools that have strong science departments. So for me to say that MIT is not on my list, that would be a very bad list for my REACH schools because MIT, Caltech, which are both ranked in the top 10 according to US News and World Report, are both great schools with strong engineering departments. So I should definitely look at both of those schools as REACH schools. Whereas a school that's more liberal arts centric or purely liberal arts and no real science major, then I shouldn't really consider that because I don't think I would be happy there. So you want to sort of disperse your schools in such a way that that's the case. And then you've got your middle tier schools, which are still very good schools, like Rice University in Houston, where I was born. It's an excellent school, but it's ranked outside the top 10, and so you could consider it a middle tier school, and the admissions rate is slightly higher as well. But don't ever think that a middle tier school is a guaranteed thing. Just because the admissions rate is 15 to 20 percent does not guarantee that you're going to get in. Think about once again what I said. There's so many valedictorians out there. You're competing against them all. You're not just competing against your school. You're competing about every school, every student in the country who's applying to the same colleges as you. So you have to remember, you're competing against the best of the best. And so just because you're in the top 20% of your school does not mean you're a guaranteed chew in for 20% that's going to get into one of these schools. So just try to pick your schools more cleverly almost, such that you maximize the prestige and things you're considering when you want jobs, but also, make sure it's somewhere you're going to be happy. And also, for your safeties, pick schools that are safeties, yet you see yourself being happy there. I could totally have gone to UConn and been a happy student. I would have had a lot of friends from the state, uh, from my high school, who went there. And I'd get to spend more time with them and get to know them better, which I didn't during high school. And just continue relationships and also make a lot of friends because it's a big campus, so a lot of people to meet. So it's really up to you at the end of the day how you split up. But for me personally, 5-5-5, five, 5-reach, five, 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 5 safety, 5 middle tier schools is a good breakdown. But I'll, once again, like I said, I'll talk about more of a breakdown of how to use early admissions to your advantage because early admissions can totally change how we break down schools. But for now, thank you.